Hey guys, so this is my first ever YouTube video. Let me rewind. Hey guys, it's, oh my gosh, I don't even want to start it off with saying hey guys. Like I feel like everybody starts off their video saying hey guys or hey YouTube. What it do? What's up y'all? How you doing? Honestly, I need an intro. I really do. I, I don't know what to say. Should I say, hey, what's up, what's good, how y'all doing? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, so you want me to get real gangster? I get gangster. But anyways, hi everyone. My name is Shakima, and this is my first YouTube video. And I want to start it off with me doing a hair review because, honestly, I want to tell y'all about this hair. I've been wearing this hair since... September and we're in January matter of fact today is January 31st. So September October November December January I've officially been rocking this hair for five months Okay, it is a wig like I made a wig I do take it off at night and I put it on in the morning But I've been wearing this same hair every single day for five months. I don't know why I just wanted to see if it will last would it still look good, you know? Because people be doing reviews and only be wearing the hair for a week or not even a week straight. They just wear it like two days out of the week and said they had it for a week. I had this hair for five months and let me tell you, I'm about to give you the details, honey, okay? So I'm rocking four bundles and a lace closure. The reason I chose a closure because I had frontals before but if you do not have the time and patience for a frontal, do not get it. Like, a frontal takes up so much time, especially in the morning. If you want that thing to look slayed, you want it to look laid, you want it to look like skin, you want it to look like what frontal, you need to put time, effort, patience, everything into that. And plus, when I order frontals, the um, longest length I've ever gotten in a frontal was 20 inches. And sometimes I'll be wanting to rock like 28 inches hair and it just don't look right to me. I hate it. I decided to go with a closure. And I've been liking it so far, honestly. I like it. So I got four bundles of 22 inches and a 20 inch lace closure because I didn't really want the closure to be like so drastic from the frontal. So I got 22 inch frontal. No, I got a 22 inch, I got 22 inches, four bundles of 22 inches and a 20 inch closure. Closure is just like a closure. It doesn't really shed, there's no ball spots in it. And that's another thing with frontals, like ball spots be just coming out of nowhere. But there's no bald spots in the closure. It's still full. You know, I got my part. If you can see. <laughs> okay. Back to focus. Okay. Let's get into tangling, matting, matting, shedding, and all of that. So when I got the hair, I did dye it black because I hate the natural brownish dark color that it comes in I love my hair to be jet black like jet black is the way to go so I dyed it black and I did wear it a few times before dyeing it black and it was nice and after I dyed it did I see a change the curl pattern I would say it wasn't as like super deep wavy curly whatever you want to call it I I forgot to mention it is deep wave but it got a little loose but not that much loose so I still liked it after I dyed it especially like the black it was just looking cute okay it was looking amazing didn't really alter it too much but like just a tad bit when I say a little bit I mean a little bit like not that much did I go to the pool in it yes I did because why not it got wet 
just make sure you like put conditioner in it maybe twist it before you go in the water or braid it and you'll be fine but i wouldn't recommend going in water with hair like this or any type of hair just put braids you know like braids is the way to go when you're trying to get wet does it shed the hair sheds if you mess around with it too much i mean all hair sheds and what i mean by it is like if you constantly keep brushing it or of course it shed a little bit in a shower but it doesn't shed like during the day if you're not touching it honestly it doesn't shed like when you touch it or anything like it's curly hair i'm pretty sure you're not going to be touching it so the only time i would say it sheds is when it's wash day unless you're like actually pulling out your hair but if you know how to manage hair if you know how to like take care of hair you know wet it put conditioner start combing it from the bottom and up it's not gonna be like, oh my gosh, a whole bunch of shedding everywhere. There's no hair on the floor. There's no hair on my bed. No hair on my dresser. There will be hair in the brush if you brush it like, if you just brush it. So shedding, it wouldn't be a problem. Matting. Does it mat in the back? <laughs> so I will say that I gotta feel it. <laughs> Um, like I said, if you take care of your hair, it wouldn't mat. If you know how to take care of your hair, it would not mat. Maybe if you like, I'll say if you sweat a lot, like a lot, a lot, and you wearing like jackets like this and just have your hair constantly in a ball, then that would make it mat. But if it's like out and you put conditioner in the back if you wash it at night and leave it to dry so when you put it on in the morning it just looks nice it's just gonna stay like that all day matting i would say it depends on the situation the circumstances it depends like depends like it also depends on what you wear like if you're wearing clothes that have your hair like this all day in the back it's gonna be like this when you're ready to comb it out. Tangling. Tangling starts happening when you leave it dry for too long. Like if you don't wash your hair in a week or don't like revamp the curls or wet it, it's gonna tangle. Not tangle, but it's just gonna be dry. Like you wouldn't be able to like run your fingers through it. But the first three days after you wash it, it's not gonna be or tangly it's just gonna be like big hair you if you know me you know what what hair is you know what big hair is is this the best quality hair no but I will say it's good if you don't want to spend too much money like obviously there's um, better hair out there but this hair is not that bad honestly would I buy it again I probably would buy it again because I've been wearing this hair for five months five months straight every single day like every single day like i literally did not change my hairstyle for five months that's crazy that's wild and another reason why i feel like i haven't changed my hairstyle is because like i gained like 15 pounds and i just need hair in my face i don't want to rock any other hairstyle until i lose the weight and my face gets slim so that's another reason i've been rocking it for a minute and it's not it's not bad <laughs> it's not bad at all today I did not wash my hair I didn't wet it I just threw it on my head decided to make a video I know I should have came with it looking more cleaned up but it is what it is this hair I don't know if I should get up to make you guys see like a closer look or this is what y'all like to do with y'all hands in front of, I don't know why I decided to wear black. Like, why would I wear black with black hair? Like, you can't see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Like, get it. If you want to rock something curly and big, and then if you don't want it to be so big, you don't have to, like, open it up, like, open it like this. Like, you don't have to do all of this. If you want it to be, like, flat and, like, that wet look, you can get the wet look, you know? Just 
manipulate it put the products that you need to put in it for it to stay looking wet or don't open it up if you just want the dry look but not big just leave it like that you can do whatever but you know i like my, i like my hair to be big like which girl doesn't like your hair they say the bigger the hair they say the bigger the hair oh my gosh i know that's a saying i'm okay the bigger the hair the closer to god okay I'm trying to be up there if you know what i'm saying the bigger the hair the harder they stare and if you me you want them to stare at you like you trying to be the center of attention okay if anyone tells you your hair is too big just get rid of them we don't need them in our life okay we don't need all these haters thank you for tuning in thank you for watching this video i think i touched everything like the hair is good i told y'all the lengths i told y'all about the matting the tangling the color i dyed it i went to the pool what more can i say but tune in for more videos i'm glad i'm happy i did this video this is my first youtube video and you know it's better to get started than not doing anything at all don't forget to comment a like and subscribe you know i could be your new best friend <laughs> but i'm from new york because not a lot of new yorkers on here and i need to get with it okay i'm trying to stay warm and cute at the same time <laughs>